Shopify is going to be playing for here with this kind of uh, run you over lineup. I agree. It, it definitely helps her tank a lot of these matchups. Just get on top of her stunner and try to kill her. In theory, CK is one of those heroes that can punch through it. And I say in theory because in a good CK patch, we've seen this hero just shred cores, right? That's like what he's supposed to do. You yeah. stun a guy, you rift him, he disappears. We haven't seen this hero in a while, so I don't know exactly how strong that punch is. He's going to punch Artor with a bolt. But this doesn't look that amazing. Blood grenades being thrown out. Gunner's going to be run down. Saberlight is a little bit low, but they can't really fight back and finish him off because there's just too many members here of Shopify. If only they had the Razor, maybe Nouns could have taken this five on five. But as it is, just outnumbered, outgunned, and almost lost a second hero there. Fortunately, Yuma was able to get back. I mean, it's still a victory because you're going to get some time alone and Arteezy has to walk out, but... Damn, you would have liked that punish. That's Yo, Kaj using the wind run to get to this lane that much quicker. They wanted to make this fast move. And it looks like it's going to pay out to no way that Laylos can stop this one. They'll throw some damage out, but eventually the carry's down. And now it's Laylos left alone against three. Yo, Paj, he's willing to dive the tower. A wind run's coming back up yet again. So part of the matchup, right? Of, of the, the one way they can stop this Luna, but... Arteezy just goes through the gate, goes to the other side, the wide open map here, and this try lane continues apparently as Yuma comes back in a lane, immediately greeted by three heroes. Yopaj is just not going anywhere. Back to back deaths for the carry of Nouns. They're gonna get a pin back. Okay, not a pin, but he's underneath tier two, so it's all the same. It's two deaths from Shopify, so Nouns do get something to recover, but now Yopaj is in mid. Gets, breaks the link, now gonna run down Copy. They get a glimpse back on him. Power shots slow him down a little bit more. And it's just too easy for Yopaj at this point in time. Lelos goes for the toss back, hits the Wind Ranger instead. They go for the Wind Ranger, but Static Storm stops them from being able to get the pin right away. Gunner's trying to get behind Yopaj to make sure they can keep him in place. And thanks to the Chaos Bolt, they've got him. I mean, you can do this. It's a universal hero. You can just max stats and damage. And like your Focus Fire is still gonna kill the Razor. Makes you and we're gonna see that in action right here. The link will slow down a little bit, but ultimately the kill is still there. Thelacor did pop kisses for it. Argue with the tier one bottom. Can you keep it in? They want a glimpse, and they've got Gunner. Saberlight. They land the stomp. Yopaj took a while, but uh, his TP finally completes and. He'll complete that kill. Looking for another. They don't have the stu- Oh my god, it was a long TP. Oh, it was the where boss. was he TPing to? That is... Jeez. And they're gonna get the glimpse mid. Pulling back in. Copy. Into the static storm he goes. His allies watch on. Helpless to be able to do anything to help him. They throw out an arena. Yeah, they do some damage to Saberlight. Fiend's grip on Yopon is trying to stop him. The damage, though. They need the damage, and it's not enough. The mech goes off. Saberlight's perfectly fine. And now they're going to be able to run down some heroes here. Yuma comes back in and actually does manage to finish off that Centaur. So you get something for this trade-off. But Arteezy circles in from behind to catch Fly out. And that'll just add to his growing net worth. Has the Manta, so it's only going to escalate further and further. Take advantage of the advantage here as i mean the name of the game is you get ahead with this hero he runs the map that is disruptor bkb for yopash this is a cooldown here yeah they try and go on him okay nice spear back kid track doing what he can though gets the glimpse back onto gunner taking him out of the fight coffee's draining all the damage from yopash right now the problem is stampede allows him to get away with beautiful tackle two man stomp yuma's in trouble rtz bins go to work with his glaives the nightmare delays that a little bit but yuma's definitely dead and who else gets caught in the kinetic field it's both the cores gunner and coffee are both gonna die from this one as the glimpse back on fly gets them yet another kill for it Four heroes get wiped out. Man, Disruptor looks like a sick-ass hero, doesn't he, Avery? It's going to be the first of first of many tier twos to go down. Oh, they already took top, actually. Never mind. Forgot about that. So, Stampede to give them the vision up the high ground to catch Gunner. Throws out an arena to try and separate himself from the Radiant Horde that is running him down. 
it won't work though. That is a sad death. You got glimpsed at your tier four. Yeah. And oh, look at this play, extremely though. farmed Arteezy Luna. Oh my God, he's invis, dude. Oh my God. Oh, what he just what got is this? Massive, massive static storm kinetic field. It just caught almost everybody. Now, the Fiend's Grip stopped. Yopaj comes in. Sableye might be the one hero to die here on Shopify. Actually, to get the support as well. Yopaj, though, is well set up. He is full HP behind the enemy. Copy does what he can to kill the supports, but it's going to be Yopaj and Arteezy just having free reign of this team fight. Yuma even shows oh, up. Kidding. Throws a Chaos Bolt at Arteezy. Totally unnecessary. Just pops the BKB and tries Office. to run him down. Fly has a sleep. Nightmare is good enough to save Yuma, but... But they don't see awesome. somebody back. It's your only yeah. play. Toss back into spear back. And arena some arena the rest of the team off. Just bring somebody omega deep into the base. And Cup there goes back on Alila's instantly dead. Saved by the nightmare for a second, but nothing more. Nighttime vision is just insanely strong. Yeah, no contest. Yeah, I think I like uh, Luna Disruptor a lot more than the Night Stalker Disruptor. Yes. Like, you still have the nighttime vision advantage that you're talking about while having much better lane. It looked pretty strong in this game. But they also last picked it and they abused that double melee so here's the toss back, back into tier fours all of these heroes bkb gets out of the arena yopaj is going in right now he's just targeting fly forcing the fiend's grip out of him the fiend's grip is a defensive one that won't last forever and once he's done with it we'll get run down by yopaj back over to rtz they finish off uh copy rtz back on his second life and is ready to lay waste to the buildings while uh, Saberlight tries to lay waste some heroes, does manage to get the initiation and somehow doesn't yeah. die. GG is finally called from now. This game was over for a solid 15 minutes, I would say. Yeah, I mean, you're just playing that one out, so you don't, you're not embarrassed after game one, but that was an absolute one-sided stomp. There's almost nothing that went right for now outside of killing Arteezy at the minute zero rune. Cannot get beaten lanes as hard as you did in game one, or it's gonna fall completely flat. So you just have to execute better. Not a bad position to be in if you're confident. This is already a very rough start for Gunner. My goodness. He's just he dead. dead. He just walked up to lane and straight up died. And Lelis, who is hitting RTZ this entire time, realizes he can't actually take that, that fight anymore. So well, what are you going to do? I feel that's also one of those situations where you'd rather just stand there. And, and they get the center on the flip, so that could have been first blood for now. Catapult alive as well. I mean, you have to read this move if you're nouns, and they are. They're bringing both supports. Is it too late, though? Yeah, it looks like Copy is already big trouble. Surrounded by supports. Now, the supports of his own are going to come in and try and clean up, but the Death Prophet is low. Not low enough, though. They're going to get a glimpse back. Spirit Siphon. Yopaj is healing up big time. Gunner's going to show up to this. Maybe he can cut through, stop this Death Prophet from getting back. A toss up in the air, and they finish her off so everybody at least they get something but yeah it required nouns to bring every single core gunner he wants to toss back Arteezy's not given to him not easy only gets uh, finally gets the toss back onto the creeps uh, but he gets glimpsed right away so it's 75 stolen damage from Arteezy goes to work oh copy's gonna show up though He's got his Tempest double, so Kitrak is already dead. They're going to go for more. Arteezy. Hit him with one ghost. Hit him with a second. Slow down. Gunner's catching up. He's got a toss. We'll toss the Arc Warden on top of him to finish him off. Arteezy will die to the rotation. Copies Arc Warden makes the uh, first move here. Leaves his mid maybe a little exposed, but very good for now. Out the earn charges off as well. Mega worth it. Shopify will get something in return. Yeah, they'll get the they'll just run down the poor support trying to hold mid. Too damn slow. The Crystal Maiden curse. Though that does prevent this tower going down to the exo. That does not prevent Copy getting run at or new copy. He's doing some work here on this Arc Warden, man. He's gonna get the kill on Yopaj, and he's probably gonna kill supports too. Oh, the avalanche is great, hits both the supports. 
And Copy, Copy is carrying this game for them right now. I mean, this is the Arc Warden Death Prophet matchup. You can't just get on top of him and shred him. He kills you really fast. They know they're not getting that one. They're smoked for it, but I'm just kind of lingering here. Dyer are scanning. Oh, scan hits. Okay, they, they got the scan. I was, I was wondering if they even realized what was happening, but they definitely do now with a scan. Problem is they're running straight into the centaur with blade mail. <laughs> he just gets blown up. Now, granted, Yuma also takes a ton of damage. Kit track barely able to survive, and now Yopaj is at his turn for revenge against Copy. He runs him down. Finally, the Death Prophet is just able to just run at the Arc Warden and get something done. A team fight that goes very right for Shopify final. That blade mail did a lot of work there. As fast as you killed the centaur, he decimates that gyro. The BKBs for Shopify, or at least the defensive items, are going to be really important particularly for yopaj being able to bkb off these vessels and the arc one damage allows you to just run and copy and there's again that's the part that there's a much counterplay to looking for our tour he has no teleport <laughs> yeah he, he he has the bkb but no tp part of this duo he's actually gonna go for copy gunner he's gonna get here too late even if he was to throw out the avalanche, the BKB would just allow RTZ to commit. Now he pops it to go on to Gunner instead. Yuma is going to show up, but he's already gotten the kill on to Gunner. RTZ gets a one for two trade off with his first BKB. Radiant's he's happy about that. There does seem to be, they, they reached this kind of weird lull where the gyrocopter early on with just levels was able to join fights with maxed out rocket barrage and be very effective. Arc Warden with his Spirit Vessel was very strong, but now he needs to farm his Gleipnir. The Gyro needs to get to his actual carry potential, and they just do not have the, the cores ready to fight back. So they lose the Arc Warden here with this move. Jump in from Saberlight to stop Gunner in his tracks. Yopaj is back to a Death Prophet that is strong, untouchable, basically, during his BKB timing. And the Razor versus Gyrocopter is never going to be a fun matchup. We're going to see exactly why here, Yuma. Black Cannon shots do nothing when his damage has been drained away. Well, Shopify are going to force the row shot. Nouns have very good time uh, chance at contesting here. They're already smoked up. They're close to the pit. They have a good scouting mechanism in the Arc Warden to be able to get vision inside the pit. You just need to be bold enough to get up there. Actually, Shopify. They don't want to get oh, caught inside the pit. They jump outside of it. The static storm on all of these heroes with a stomp as well. Oh, this is just beautiful for Shopify. There is really no contest here. It is already over this fight. You get the stolen siphon. Oh, there's an Ag's already on there. Oh, that Ag's. Yeah. He got the vision on the Crystal Maiden to pull her back in with a glimpse. That was pretty sick. I actually hate everything about it. Like, there's certain heroes you just look at and you dislike. I think everybody has those. Like, you just look at his face. You're just like, it's just dumbass face. What? <laughs> it's, it's a, basically a red orc riding a dinosaur. <laughs> a look at, aesthetically, how could you hate that? Yeah, that's that? so stupid. It makes no sense. Oh, look at this. Wait, what the hell? The gyro is going to get run down by the razor, man. No problem there. Got the glimpse back on the Crystal Maiden kill, and the Sapphire has stunned Gunner. Gunner pops BKB, and it tries to beat down the Sapphire. It doesn't work, so he goes for the TP. He does make it out, but uh, okay. Darkopter walks up into the triangle and instantly dies. Yeah. I mean, they cliff the Centaur with the lift, but there's just nothing to bail out the Link. There's no four stabs. There's, there's no Lotus Orbs. You got one force on the Maiden, but it's on a Maiden. Radiant's top tower. See, this is when you go high ground. The enemy team has made the mistake of going outside of their base and dies. Now you can go high ground. Now there are going to be buybacks, in which case they'll hold their high ground, but you'll, you'll call that an objective win, you know? I guess it's just oh, a crystal maiden. You don't have BKBs. BKB on the awkward's out. He wants Artizi gets gobbled. <laughs> Tossed him back in, hit him with his own stomp. So Saberlight is left way far behind the rest of his team who is retreating. The Gleipnir is going to hold him in place. Diving into an Arc Warden. Always oh, questionable. Oh, Alice hits him with another stomp, man. Now Steel's kinetic field. Keep both uh, supports. I say one support. Yopaj pops BKB, picks up the gem, and TPs out. So very nicely played where he recovers the gem. Um, might be able to get an Aghanim Scepter suit, which... That'll be big. 
Yeah. I'm find the razor again. They see him here. No, he has no BTB, but. Oh. Nothing to do. Saberlight ruins it by TPing onto the outpost. Razor cut it across. He's gonna see the gyro. He might just go for it. He doesn't have BKB though. Surely that okay. The stomp goes out for the centaur. They're not quite on the same page right now. The razor's getting kited. Yuma, because of the blade mail, does a lot of damage back to himself. Throws that damage Ooh, on the Opage now, but the stampede allows him to be able to kite back. Frostbite holds him in place. Can they finish off this death profit? Damn. That gyro damage. You got some crits. Yep, 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 yep. BKB turn around. Yopaj not afraid to fight here oh, on this high ground. Exorcism halfway through right now. Blightmere gonna catch him. Telekinesis toss back. He has Nemesis Curse plus Daedalus? That was not something Yopaj wanted to run into. Now they're losing Rose. Oh god, the jump in! Martizi gets Help. thrown in there. He doesn't get the Aegis, but god, he's in a great position. He eat the cheese on Gunner, but... The damage is kind of already be done. Arteezy's going to bring that hero low. Arteezy's actually down to half health here. He can't fight the gyrocopter. Now without the full out drain, gyro's low though on his second life. He's not going to be able to fight through these other cores of Shopify. What a play from Thea Lacour combined with Arteezy. The Aghanim Scepter. Laylas? Uh oh, he's trying to make him some sick little play there. It doesn't quite work. I mean, that was a sick play, but yeah. He's in absolute hyper beast mode. What can you do? The lightning is at your door. You need a toss back. You did not get it. You're getting drained. In the gyro. They do manage to get away from this the first link. Yuma comes back in. Missed out on that kinetic field. Yuma challenging Arteezy. Arteezy, the is not a challenge. is winning this fight in the Glimmer Cave. They get away. Arteezy has to look for other targets. It's going to be Gunner first. Immediate buyback. Kisses raining in. Yopod deep in the front lines right now. Gets out pretty quickly, though, thanks to the kisses. They got a buyback out of Nouns. They're happy enough with that. Copy is not happy letting them go, but now they're gonna turn around and catch him. A Stomp, a BKB gets a force out of there, but it is just kiting back and forth, back and forth with more and more buybacks being put to use. Gunner didn't have his BKB, so he got glimpsed back to his death, to his dieback even. Yuma gets kissed on, gobbled God, up, kissed as well. Cookie. It is just stun after stun is from Daniel for the Satanic, the Satanic, Ooh. the black cannon shots. It's not enough. He can kill some heroes, maybe some supports, but Arteezy is just too damn big for him. And he still has the Aegis even, the Force Staff stopped by the Kinetic Field. Now it gets pulled back in by the Drain once again, slowed by the Shivas by Yo Pasha, kiss that lands on the fly. Uh, Shopify, one big push is all it takes. They will take out all 10 heroes of nouns. If that's what's required to end this game, they're gonna fight through every single buyback. Nouns has a three versus five with heroes Still to go with lines still to go. The age is still up. The Shiva's catching. Telekinesis tossed away onto the Arc Warden. Puts him back up. Oh. I got him in the fountain. Saberlight brings him down with oh, a bye. double edge. Laylas is dead. It's just little old fly left against all of Shopify. Some of who still have buybacks, still Damn. have ages. That was, see, that's why you go high ground right there, Austin. That's what I'm telling you. I mean, that is a uh, high ground of the day for me that jam the network how the hell is arteezy tanking so much damage he has 50 percent of asian nobody can really pierce it it is going to be off lane uh tiny and i mean that's that's good for now like that is what they wanted to see they wanted to see this tiny off lane because ursa will have a way better time versus that and again shopify had choice but that draft limited their options to punish the ursa so they got this tiny matchup they're taking advantage of it has another leap, might get him. Yeah, the slow stacking up. If he gets another swipe, that is enough. Yuma gets the Dang. first blood. He, just has, he does have full phase boots on the courier. There's a lot of net worth for Yuma coming out. He just doesn't die right now. We use the avalanche, so Yuma is actually going to try and fight this. Yeah. That avalanche, he's going to have to go for the toss backwards here. Sabolite, though, is still going to be caught in the frostbite. Yuma gets the kill. Really good read of that situation. And meanwhile, Poppy solo killed Yopon. He solo killed him and used the rest of Exorcism to TP bottom because oh Gunner was like, word. I'm here, I've got X. Uh, nice rotation. That's exactly what you want with the DP. And he's going Atos. In fact, it's done. Very fast Atos here. Blowing up the gyrocopter. Yopon's not gone for long. TP's back in into the trees. 
has a free open line. Copy, he's got his exorcism ghost coming back to him, so he is very confident about diving this tower, but it's too confident, perhaps. The uh, LSA hits on two, the boat goes out. Spirit Siphon healing him, healing him with the boat buff. He might just survive the tree toss. Damn. is not enough. He's gonna live through this one, and Gunner's gonna get the support. Gunner's in deep, though, so he's very dead. Nice dodge on the LSA, costs the Opaja an extra round of spells. I can't believe DP gets out of there. If you really want it, which is just a solid item. Can remove some yeah. spire, fire spirits, dodge a Laguna sometimes, dodge Eclipse. So I'm skeptical. I mean, they... See if it actually comes into play. They do get the Atos into the X. Yeah, X, so into X. Free okay. kill on Yopaj. That's a kill streak down. And let's see, they, they used uh, the latter half of this exorcism before really well. Copy wants to keep doing that but uh shopify very skittish of getting in range of this uh death prophet here toss back underneath the tier two the court drags him really far back and the stolen x so he's right back into the tier two for a second time i'm yeah, not third. even sure what gunner was trying to get out of that exactly i mean you were very far forward against a tiny no backup behind you whatsoever huh I mean, it does say a lot about how much base damage there is. I say, find him with the Atos again on the rune bait. Got him. Yo, yo, Pages. Got him. Certainly not with uh, RTZ continuing to be low on net worth and is going to die again here because Gunner has vision of him. Has him on the X. Can pull him back into a torrent, into a tidal wave. The miss is the tidal wave. Don't think it matters with so many heroes coming in from nouns. A little awkward though. Yuma taking names of his own. And y Yuma Ursa is going hard here. Now he's got a BKB, man. Anything for this Luna? Because the way that Yuma is farming, your physical damage is online already. Oh, that Etos! You got him! Caught him right on the edge of being able to get up the cliff. And now, oh, he holds too late! A fast pullback from Gunner. He out of his Atos. Smoke across. Gonna run into the Death Prophet. Got BKB out of copy. Rod of Atos with the Torrent Storm going out. Actually, beautiful start there with the Torrent hitting Kit Track and RTZ. Pulled it back in with the Tidal Wave as well. Trying to keep him in place long enough for some of these other cores to get here. Avalanche over the top. Now the Ursa shows up, goes straight to work onto the Luna. They kited around Shopify long enough for the reinforcements to show up. And once they do, the fight is over for Shopify. Call down's not gonna catch up to RTZ. He is out of there. But Shopify don't get the win that they were looking for. Might still get the Phoenix. Yeah, they'll deal with that egg, no problem. Yeah, yeah that was good, that was good. Very efficient. You see him on the ward. Gets ult off, but Yules. Oh, toss back into the Eclipse. Also right on top of RTZ. He's just gonna kill RTZ. The Glimmer Cape, where's the vision? Okay, they get it off of some of the AOE damage oh and they God. win the fight pretty easily, no problem. They do lose the Ursa, but it looks like Yopaj is gonna die for it. So Nouns, Close. clean house. But honestly, you're still trying to catch a Maiden. He's still getting Glimmer Cape. Hit him with the crystal clone. Copy's here. Copy is invis. No exorcism just yet, but they honestly don't need it. Not with Yuma is here. Yuma pops his BKB, deals with the supernova. No problem. Now running down the rest. Yopaj in his flight. Sits up to the high ground, trying to hit an LSA, trying to kill Gunner. Bouncing Glaives doing some healthy amount of work, but there's still Glimmer Capes, and that's a problem if these heroes do not die immediately, then Arteezy run out, runs out of steam. And the Ursa starts going to work. Even Yopaj can't even finish off this gyrocopter, man. Monster kill streak. 8, 0, and 15. Some big tossbacks. From it's actually Saber kind of Fight. awkward. He has Octarine without the shard. It's like... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's that good. He just jumps right in there. He is down yeah, to party. Shopify holding on the high ground. We'll find 
Little bit of an opener here. Jarkov, you're down to half health. Luna's oh, almost getting... dead to the Torrent Storm, man. He has to pop DKB. He almost seizes the opportunity and runs him down. He just gets clipped by like random spells and straight up dies to it. Um, I, I think Kunkka is so goddamn good. It's like a fair, it's it's like a fairly strong laner, a great team fighter, and it doesn't seem to lack in damage if you can make it from this hump of like getting Aghanim Scepter and getting to the next round of items. And levels, I suppose, because the talents are pretty important for that as well. Hide away yeah, to make sure he can't fly away to the trees. I mean, it's almost first pick cook. They up the priority on. I could see this hero gaining more traction in this patch because if some of the other offlaners get nerfed a bit, then he just becomes even better. He still a flex hero. Still gives you pretty decent early game, team fight, all that. I'm four dead again here. And that is GG. GG gives the NPC Dota good yep. guys high five. A good guy high five for him on his way out of this game, but that is where he's going out of this game and onto a game four nouns. Victory as they strike back. Is it tinker time? Tinker time. Time to bring it back. Left. Two seconds left. No. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. No. I told you, dude. I told you. People see void, they just no. have the night stall. It should be a free farm lane for Gunner. Yeah, and there's the fact that you uh, do damage with crippling fear during daytime, right, Avery? Oh, yeah, he's burning him. He got him. <laughs> got him. God damn. Especially now that it's nighttime. They won that matchup. He's, oh, this he's going to go for a TP fast play onto mid. They're going to go for a kill on Yopaj oh. while he doesn't have TP. Bump him back with the flame break back into the slows. Can they get him, though? Body blocking, yeah, body blocking. He's dead. Turns that around, throws out the power shot, kill. his last bit of damage, but now the support rotations of Shopify have come too late, and they're just right in the mix of an exorcism from Copy. I don't think Fly's too upset about it. I mean, that's a CS. Uh, technically, you true. He's got it, Rodavitos just picked it up. And he's gonna try and use it. Saberlight makes the rotation though with an arena and the focus fire. Looks like Copy is gonna die here. Focus fire just too much damage for the Death Prophet. Cookie lands on a fly, looking for more now. Gunner's gonna show up though, punishes Saberlight for daring to go for another kill. And with the darkness, it's gonna get another Rod of Ato's kill. Flame break misses, but it's not needed. Focus Fire, uh, Yopaj is going to run down. Uh, no, he's not. Lilith goes back up the cliff, and Yopaj can't afford to stick around. As Rod of Atos is coming up, he, he might be dead here. Caught in the Frostbite. This, the Spirit Siphon going to be enough. Crypt Swarm, max damage. He gets the kill on the Bat Rider, though. Lilith sticks around a little bit too close there. Saberlight a bit too late to uh, get the punish. Now he gets him inside of the arena. Arteezy doesn't have Chronosphere. Came just the right clicks of these two. Bring down the Death Prop. Against the Spirit Siphon, it's going to make it a little bit harder, but the Helo Core makes it a little bit easier if they needed to land the Spear, though. Now the Spear is gone. He TPs away right in front of him. The damage is there, though. Here you were, Austin. Saying Arteezy's washed. <laughs> Arteezy's never going to dodge another smoke gank. He's not going to see that one coming. Arena on three, but it's not a good three. It's, uh, they turn around and kill you inside of your own arena three. That's a rough one. And nighttime hits, so Gunner on the prowl. Doesn't have his BKB, gets shackled. Nice shackle, but he... Oh, wait, the Chronosphere gives him a chance. Hits the power shot off of it. Is it going to cost Time him? Time walk coming up. He's going to get back to low ground, so the Exorcism, not a threat. That is a rough death for Gunner. And a big one for Shopify to pick up as... It just hits nighttime. He's 100 off BKB. And you get that NS kill. This Atos doing some work, though. I must say. Make a value, and it's still nighttime, so they're going to swing bottom. Look Table light on the run. Here. Gunner spotted him. Courier leading the way. And he's got him. Doesn't want to stun, can't, so he can't TP yeah. Now that the. Though. Crystal Maiden's close enough. You can use the Void to slow him down. Frostbite stomps him again. 
Saberlight throws out the arena to try and get away from these heroes. He just cannot get far enough. BKB is going to be popped so he can ensure the kill on Saberlight, get the kill on Kitrak, and even look for more. Did he spot Yopaj there? Doesn't look like it. They looks looking. Oh, just it's he time walked in. Oh, hammer, what though. a hammer. That is a hammer of justice right there. God damn. That's a hammer of uselessness as it does nothing. And he dies instead. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, we got him on the end of the BKB. What now a timing a from Saberlight. Justice right there. That, <laughs> that penetration. That'll be Fly going down as well. Leila's does manage to nab the Wisdom Rune away from them and TP out. Lawless looking for the catch. He's gonna run into Saberlight. Oh, Ooh. got him on the spear arena. Didn't get him to a wall though. That weird little tree blocked it. Still get the damage though. And the Chronosphere into the kisses gets the burst on the gunner before like he actually popped EKB at the end of his life too. Oh, yeah. So even worse for now. Well, that's not good. Yeah, no chrono, uh, no glyph. 75 seconds yeah. and Ooh, oh, we're trying to put the precast telekinesis from Kid Track stops Lilith's initiation. Bumped him with a flame break, put him together for the storm hammer. Finished off the support, got the arena back into the tier four with that spear. Now the arena goes out, trying to hold these heroes in, keep the death prophet out, but the BKB and he makes a run for it and gets out, but the face's void is now into play. Another spear back, Yuma. His age is gonna expire. Still he still BKB. has God Strength, and he has BKB coming back in with the lasso onto the Mars. That'll pull the Sven out of here with his BKB God Strength. They chop him down easily. Glyph comes up now after that tier three, and yeah. nobody home. They, they, there it is again. Pop Darkness, get a kill. Don't find anything, go to the other side of the map. While they still have the rest of this darkness, while they still feel strong, it's a long cooldown. You gotta get as much as you can out of it. An instant bash doesn't pop the BKB. Oh, Gunner! Did you just get yourself killed? He's oh, inside the chrono. Chronosphere on three. RTZ sets up a beautiful chrono. A shackle, shackle shot that pulls it up. He does get lassoed, slowing down the damage, but the constant stuns, man. Yuma finally gets off his BKB, and now it's time for him to turn. Can he do this? Can he do enough Oops. damage? He needs the hammer. He needs to be able to chase after RTZ, but he can't get him. He's away. He'll go for the Mars instead. Get that one. Yopaj is still up, though. Yopaj, he hits another shackle shot. Yeah, Arteezy lurking on the side here, but he does, Yopush just doesn't do the damage without focus fire. And he regrets uh, making that go, that's for sure. That was a dominating streak he just gave away. He has his 25 talent, Sven is hitting like a truck. Oh, the smoke up with the vision. They see the faceless void, they got him. No, oh, they dash. didn't. Dash! The is a bash, and now the Bat Rider oh, says they're stuck in the Chronosphere. Oh, it all went so wrong so quickly for Nouns. An opportunity that gets a night where Yuma, crits, maybe Yuma the still the hero they need. He hits the massive crit of 2,000 damage. Full heals himself. The age is going to expire here. They need to prevent him from getting back, especially with the buyback on RTC. Gunner goes out. in, trying to stop these supports, trying to stop the Elecord. Got a bash on him to stop the kisses. Running away on Yuma. Yuma. Trouble. Yopaj trying to do the damage. Yuma has to no, turn and not. get another kill. Can he get Yopaj as well? He starts kiting back again, but now he's got another hammer. He's got another hammer. And he's Wait. thirsty once more. He gets the Elecord up next. They can't stop this flying goddamn Sven. He's Superman out here. Save light beating it out. Save light. No lasso. Oh, it was just shy of it. Now he's going to get focus fired. Yuma still has a chance, though, to kill Saberlight. He backs away with his BKB bulwark. Now they lasso him. On the side, though, Gunner hit the back line. Went straight for the supports. Arteezy's in. Went for the Sven. Can he kill this Sven in the Chronosphere? It's How not looking good right have? now. And all the turnaround satanic instantly. Time walks off the damage. Sure, now the scythe goes down from Saberlight. Still trying for this Sven. But now Copy is going to join him. Hits the silence into Arteezy. The Silver Edge gets him away. Still looking, though. Saber lights. Yeah, still looking. He's very forced. Oh, God's the maiden. With the kisses on it, they got the hammer onto our TZ. Another Time shackle. And goes for it. They got another shackle onto Yuma. Yuma got off the BKB with the lasso. That's going to be the first life of our TZ. They look forward, pin back on copy from Saberlight, trying to back away, trying to get off of Yuma, but Yuma's just gonna stick onto him. Arteezy is dead a second time. He comes back with no BKB, just got exorcism controlled the entire time. 
Saberlight, a desperate TP. It's not going to make it through. That's two diebacks on Shopify. And they found Yopage. Oh, got nullified. Okay. Yuma's going to TP on to him. So Gunner, he heals up, eating the creep. He just needs to kite out Yopage just long enough for Yuma to get here. I mean, Yopage knows he needs to make something happen. Yeah, he's got to get a kill off of this one. He needs this kill on the focus fire. He's just not going to get it. There's too many heroes, too many disables. Absurd. No backtrack procs. Nothing to save him. And Arteezy has no buyback for 50 gold here. Gotta force the issue. No god strength for 20. Oh, he's blink away just before the hammer hits him. Stolen hammer now thrown back at Arteezy. They're going to go for Gunner. Doesn't get him. Lasso now pull back onto the snap fire while Arteezy and Yuma going at it a little bit with the BKB. Jump forward, hit the Chronosphere on two backline heroes. Still trying to finish up this. Wind Waker goes out onto Gunner. Can that save him? Gets off the BKV. A bash going out. Arteezy is dead. Dead again. No chance of coming back to defend now. And Yopaj just can run down a crit on the illusion for 2,251 damage for Yuna. That'll clean up the rest of the cores. They trapped him inside of the fountain, but not even the fountain can bring down Yuma. Unless. Maybe. Maybe. Uh. Oh. Got him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Ancients down, and we are going to a game five. Well, is thing. is there an off laner? So you do mid DK and an Underworld off laner yeah. that gives you something? Primal it's Beast. Primal's okay. Seems like really getting beat by these bone little bone lads. They get him straight up dead. Can't underestimate the bone boys down here which is insanely strong this early in the game. Oh, look at this play. Uh, Nouns, Nouns seem to really like abusing the death TP back and a second death. And they're going to try it here with the Primal Beast rotating back and killing Saberlight. So he has to do the Walk of Shame back in. But Shopify was not too far away and they may get a more valuable kill off of this one. As the Primal Beast is going to die, Lila's going to get pulled back into his doom off of the Glimpse. So they get two kills for that one. This is where this hero is the strongest. One really nice thing about that move is that it ensures Yuma gets to level six before Doom is online. Right, so you see there's no chance of that cheeky core kill from the early Doom. Keep track of the Static Storm. Hills Layla Fly should leap him down. Maybe not, actually. Fatebolt's going to hold a lot of that damage. Gunner comes in. Oh, Copy got his onslaught stopped by the telekinesis. He wanted to charge onto Yopaj, get the grab. He still has a chance to. Do they have the damage Arrow though? The air lands on him. Perfect from Fly to combo that one through the creeps. A big return kill on the mid, and Kitrax gonna die as well. Gets run down there. Doom thrown out, but a Moonlight Shadow goes down, and they probably do not have detection for this one. So the Primal Beast, he'll live through this one no problem while they run down the Lacor on the Rubik. Now Wraith King joining in on the mix. Poppy's back at a play. He might charge after this one. Yeah, Onslaught. Trample hits him. Sableye down to half HP and surrounded by heroes. He's dead as well. Now Damn. already beginning the temple of running over Shopify. Kind of his old deal. Trees RTZ can get more active. We're seeing him just walk in here. They're being very aggressive here. Stolen onslaught. The other core runs up a high ground. A song to try and do something here to set up a rolling thunder, maybe. I mean, they don't need it. Inhibit. It's going to be good enough to kill this Jarakov here. They get that one kill. Now trying to get out. Shield rune gets dispelled immediately by the Doom. Trouble now for Copy as he runs in all of these heroes. And the Rolling Thunder is preventing the Wraith King from doing much. Gunner coming in from the side, though. Finishes off the Doom. Almost gets the Lacor as well. Throws out a little damage on a Kit Track as well. Yuma, he doesn't mind this Static Storm. Actually, he's a little low on mana if he's yeah, down here. Yeah, he's out of coming up. He needs the Wand Charges. It's on cooldown Ooh. right now. It's on cooldown. He couldn't get it off. Shopify will wipe Nouns. Just on the edge, so many heroes, so damn low. I mean, it might be Arteezy. I don't know. He's been playing a long time. Dragon Tail Initiation onto Saberlight. The song goes out. The BKB, though, it went out from Copy, so he can ensure that they get the kill onto the Doom. And the missile bounced over to the support in the back line. The core. he's going to die off this one. Most likely, the Gyrocopter tries to catch up. The Kinetic Field separates them. The Naga Siren starts going to work on that Gyro. He's going to die with a buyback coming in from Saberlight. They want this fight any way they can take it. Yuma is still around to fight. He still has this Radiance. He's running down a Dragonite. There's no way this guy dies. 
Yeah, this does not look good. And now they're going to have to fight into this Yuma, uh Wraith King who's right in your face. Now he's going to be losing his first like, Oh, Dragon Tail burned through the illusions. He's just dead. Yopaj does a crap ton of damage. What? He slows down Copy, trying to keep him at bay, trying to get away. Swashbuckles up, goes up the hill. Copy, an onslaught. Can he land this? He gets him, Swashbuckle over the, or shield crash over the side. Swashbuckle coming up in second, gets down to low ground. Yopaj is no. away. A little bit. Dota's complex game. Smoke going into the Roshan pit. Rosh is at half. BKB immediately grabs the Doom. Song goes out. Nobody can really follow this one. Nobody else has BKB. What's all stuck in the song for now, but they're not really getting anything off of it. Yopaj, he's going for the Gyrocopter first, while Yuma is going to tackle this Doom. Doom being tag teamed by both Roshan and the Wraith King. He gets away a little bit longer. Gunner on the side dealing with Kitrak, the first life of Yuma. He's going to burn out here. Copy Ooh, comes back in. Big hit, a bowling ball straight through the pins of Shopify. Yopaj barely gets off his own little bowling ball. Rolling around on no radius. HP. He finally gets burned out. Copy is on a silver. If HP blinks away, just he gets hit by the Orchid, but no damage and now the Naga Siren is caught and killed. A big win for Nouns around the Roshan pit. Yeah, I think, I think you're like dooming. You're either dooming Primal or you're dooming Wraith King on his second oh, Grabs Perhaps Arteezy. He slipped away last time. They cannot afford to let him slip away again. Mass TP's coming in from Shopify. He deals with the missile with his illusions. Copy gets yeah, grabbed by his own pulverized. Yuma's in the mix. He does have that Aegis, so... Even if he dies here, it's okay. Toss down, hits a Wraith Fire Blast under Arteezy. Arteezy, the heart is not going to be good enough, I don't think. Wait, no, Yopaj saves him on copy, chains him up, kinetic field, holds him in place, hits him again and again and again. Gunner's trying to play from this low ground, but Yuma is just getting permanently controlled. He's got reincarnation in three seconds time. Two, it's not up in time. Gunner for last. Gunner is the last one standing, and Gunner tries, and he gets one kill. Loses five heroes, gets one. A super early high ground push that, yeah, Arteezy, you know, cuts the waves, yada, yada. But you had to feel so good about your position in the game. And now you just lost a massive team fight. And now you've got to be questioning, is it going to be a repeat? Are they going to lose another game five? Yuma could steps in. Handles kid track, gets bumped by the boulder, not that big of a deal. They're turned back to Gunner here. Gunner's pretty tanky. They threw the Doom on him, and the Naga Siren's trying to close that distance. Got on top of the Dragon Knight with the Swashbuckle as well. They're throwing everything they have at Gunner, and they've got him very easily. Oh, copy. He tried to get the grab on the Doom instead. Now going for the Pango. Can Yuma do enough damage? He's getting a kited around, loses his first line. He pops it to slow them down to see if he can keep these heroes in, in striking distance. And he managed to get the Doom who blinked Whoa. into that one. Now Shopify are going to retreat. They call it Radiant quits there. Three heroes down. Attack. Not super happy with that engagement. Yopaj is still toying with them. Has he gone too far though? Wait, a buyback onto Copy the elbows. They lured in Copy who went oh, too deep. He thought his team was going to back him up, but he went way too hard there. But you have... Shiva's and Ash yeah, nice. Disruptor. Yeah. yeah, this is big. You can just sleep now. and just put this DK Run into, into a the Dragon Knight. form. RTZ, Manta. Oh, we can't get off the song. Not right away. Got hit by one stun. They also have the Doom on Gunner. He pops a Manta, trying to get away. Oh, he the Rolling Thunder. Thunder. What a swashbuckle hit. They pull him back in off of the glimpse. Gunner, once again, the Dragonite is the first focus for Shopify. A slam, Pulverize, hitting a bunch of heroes. A lot of AoE damage. Almost oh. finishing off. Pulverize stolen. Oh, Gets gosh. the grab onto the Primal right as he was about to finish up the uh, the Pango. He blinks away just as the Wraith King blinks forward. All right, Gunner finishes Wind Waker. Radiant We're confident scary. to take the fight now. Scan latches. Breaks on him. Got the Doesn't hit one. the real one. Dragon Tail of Illusion, but got the ensnare on the real one. Quickly disperses it off. Wraith King goes for the back, but got sent away by the glimpse. He's going to have to recharge on this one. The arrow lands onto the roof. If they finish him off pretty easily. There goes that Doom onto the Dragonite. He's trying to get away. That Wind Waker going to be needed to get away from Yopash right now, who's a menace right up in their face. Rolls up before the magic damage can land. Arteezy thinking about the song. Pops it now. BKB from Yuma is the only thing going on. He's going to TP out. Can Gunner TP out? Ensnare? No. He doesn't have the Manta right away. He does have the Wind Waker. Blink. Nope. Shiva stops him there. Manta's coming up, though. He's over the cliff. Manta away, running. The glimpse. He's looking for the glimpse. He got him. He Ooh. pulls him back into his death, and he does not have a buyback. 
An opening now for Shopify. This game, control the tempo. Does not care about Roshan. He wants your base. Oh, they're going for the Wraith King who doesn't have reincarnation. He's dead. They're trying to stop this push that I think is unstoppable while their Dragon Knight is dead. They had a tier two up as well, the top lane. They did not have to force this right now. The top lane is protected. They can get two lanes though for Shopify. And they had a chance to pay Shopify the ultimate disrespect and give them the reverse sweep. Now they're on their last legs. A TP in, but a song stops them in their tracks. They're gonna look at Copy here, picking him out, gonna go for him first. Lotus Orb's gonna try and protect him with that Aghanim Scepter. Pulled in, a lot of heroes grouped up here. A jump in from the Wraith King. It almost instantly losing his first life. A nice use of the Wind Waker. Right, Naga. Stalls out a little bit more, and now he's gonna die. Slows down these heroes. Naga Siren is dead. More Naga damage. Siren is being focused, he's gone. The heroes are gonna get chased down now. Nouns, not out of it just yet. They've killed the Naga Siren, who is Ansel not is back. Who's gonna be back into the play. He canceled his TP. That means his allies don't have the reinforcements that they desperately needed in this time. The Doom is gonna die. Now the Rubik is gonna get chased down as well. Multiple heroes, and they use the buyback on their carry. In terms of holding this map together, he will buy his own Wind Waker, but the push? Nouns have said it is time to win this game. Win or lose, we will do it on our terms, but they just get the caught in this next one. Got him inside the Static Storm. It's the Gyrocopter dead first. Yuma pops his BKB. He does not have Reincarnation. He's playing off of his Ags and a little bit of HP. That's all he has left. Copy's gonna be able to grab Saberlight. Goes for that kill, but he instantly takes it off and is making the run for it while the song is going away. He's surviving a little bit longer. Wind Waker back up to the high ground for RTZ while they surround Copy. Yuma getting low oh, once again, wife. another Wind Waker. Dragonite playing on this high ground. Copy is getting lower and lower. He's trying to grab anybody he can, but he can't get down from this high another ground. Another arrow. He has a little bit more time with this Wraith oh. Tire. They might just be able to finish off Yopaj. Yes, they get him. Yes, they get the bite, but, but can they get out? Have they just thrown away all of their lives just to kill singular heroes? They can't get away either. Kitchrak gets him on the glimpse back. Gunner desperately going for the TP, but it's an ensnare, denies him. All the heroes dead from Nouns. Shopify God. do it again to Nouns. Not again, dude. That is... Oh, that is so rough. But Shopify will just not lose a series to Nouns. They refuse to lose these game fives. Something about it. They go back to what works for them. They go back to their comfort.